Okay, so good morning, everybody. We are sitting here. I'm here with my friend Tristan. She is getting um, some Botox today and possibly lip filler. And I'm just here for moral support because obviously I'm pregnant, so I'm not going to be getting anything. I would love to do that, but here for moral support and uh, hold her hand, all that good stuff. So it's going to be fun. What are we? What are we doing right now? Filling out paperwork. Signing, <laughs> signing my face away. So are we gonna do, are you doing, we're not, but are you yeah. doing lip filler today or just the Botox? Okay, so I'm 100% gonna do the Botox. Okay. But I'm gonna wait until I get back there to kind of see if, <laughs> let her tell me if I'm gonna look like a horse or not. <laughs> I'm trying not to peer pressure her because I want her to do the <laughs> lip filler too because I want to watch it happen for selfish reasons. She's so peer pressured me. <laughs> Thinking about filler. Thinking about filler. Yes. Are you nervous? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. I'm going under the knife. <laughs> I wanted to give you medication or something. I know it is. Go mad. See, some people don't like it. I know. But for your lips, I'm telling you. Do you want her? She don't have to do the eyes. Yeah, I don't have to. Oh, or no, she can go. I kind of. I mean, I don't feel the the sure. poke afterwards. Try it with that. We'll we'll do it less. Like don't. We'll it won't leave it on as long. One, two, three, four, five. Go mad. Okay, relax. <laughs> Does that even do anything? I don't know. <laughs> the one, two, three, four, five ass. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it's better than leaving it on yeah. for. I could show you what it's like without the eyes. No. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, y'all are. Okay, go mad. Relax. I didn't drool. What's <laughs> up? Come here with me. Go ahead, you can do that piece. Makes my eyes water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm-mm. Tristan, we can't even tell your lips on the vlog in here because you're... <laughs> they look so Are we good. Or they look really good. I'm vlogging. We can't this is prime recording opportunity right here. <laughs> so what are you gonna do for uh, this cow? There's a cow on the loose and Tristan is determined she's gonna catch it. I'm a cow girl. Yeah. So I'm not gonna like rope it because I don't know anything about that business. But <laughs> if you go out there and start roping, <laughs> like, that's the next level. I don't know anything about that life, but I am gonna go get a feed bucket and I guess take my four wheeler. And you are way better than me, honestly. See, I would have probably dodged the cow and like kept on going down the road. You, she went and told the woman. That lady has no clue. She didn't know what she was doing. No, come, I could have done it better, here, and I come that's come not here, saying Betsy, anything. Let's get back in. The, <laughs> Back she looked like it was a cat or something. She, like. Did you see her? She went, get back in your pasture. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like it's just going to listen. That is not a dog. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my gosh, yes. So your dogs are looking at us like, <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> Something wrong with them. They'll, they'll do it. They'll, oh they, see, God. all you have to tell them is kennel, and they go get yeah, their Yeah, see, they're not cows. They're that not be, cows. That'd be the reason. <laughs> all right, y'all, I'm in the car. I'm in Tristan's driveway, so I'm not I'm not being dangerous. But um, I'm trying to get, let me actually not hit this pothole right here. There are quite a few. Um, but I'm trying to drive down here. Just hit something. And see about this cow. I obviously have a uh, little experience cow wrangling so I don't really believe even though you know I was raised in a place where they have all this stuff my dad had animals all the things but I ain't much of a cow girl myself so <laughs> we uh we're gonna figure this out Tristan's on the four-wheeler she's she's figuring it out she's gonna go down here and get this cow so I'm following her I don't even remember where the cow is, but I think I just take her her little driveway out and then I'll find my way. So anyway, we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> this is gonna be hilarious. <laughs> <There's Tristan. laughs> this is too good. on that little four-wheeler. And that was our song Spotlight on Corner Cafe. Hey, we are gonna get introduced to new yes. artist tonight. Her name's Rose. I love that name, Ooh. Rose. So can't wait to hear her heart and her story. Stay tuned. All right, Rose, you can, um... You can unmut. Unmut? Okay. <laughs> And that was Breakthrough on our cafe, and we have Rose Awuku joining us by phone. Hey, Rose. Hi, how are you? Hey, good you're to good. have you on the cafe. You know, I can pronounce Rose pretty well, and then you're like, that's Awuku is my last name, too, and that's like, wow, <laughs> I've never heard that last name before. What's the um, story behind your last name? You are married. Yes, I'm married, and actually my husband and his family are from Ghana, so it's actually an African last name. Yeah. Yep. So there it's super popular, you know, it's more normal there, but here in the States it's definitely different, so nobody ever pronounces it right, but... <laughs> Aww, I love the uniqueness of that, though. Um, that's awesome. Awuku. Yeah, so you got it. What was your maiden name? You know, what was your maiden name? Well, that's kind of funny. My maiden name was Smith, so I went from, like, the easiest, <laughs> most basic... Yeah. <laughs> yes, so it's definitely different, but I like the unique last name. I like having a different one now. Yeah, that's fun. I know, so, right? That's a lot of fun. Yeah, and you can see all this new song breakthrough. We just listened, and I know you have a very powerful story regarding this song. Would you mind sharing with our listeners? Yeah, absolutely. So Breakthrough is actually a song that my husband fully wrote. Um, and he wrote it during a season of our lives. We're actually currently expecting our first child, but we went through a four-year season. Yeah, thank you. We went through about a four-year season of infertility. So that's where the song comes from. Um, and it was really written, you know, in a, in a tough season. So it sounds like, you know, such a celebratory song, but really it was just kind of praising God before we saw that breakthrough and then ended up seeing it. So it was just, it's really special to us. Yeah, for sure. It was, you know, it was t such a tough season, but I really feel like I learned more about worship in that season, you know, than I ever had before. So this song just kind of reminds me of that. When he first showed it to me, it was really, it really just spoke even to me, you know, because I didn't write it. So I love listening to it because it's his song and really it was something that really came from his heart. So Yeah, so that's great too to be in a relationship um, and to be married to someone who's also musically inclined and can write, can write music as well. Absolutely. Yeah, we really share in that. Actually, we both serve in ministry together. We're both worship pastors together at the same church. And so it's really um, incredible to be able to write with him and be able to work alongside him. It's just been a total dream come true. So That is awesome. Now, uh, that you've written this beautiful song, of course, uh, has there been... Um, uh, does he like all your songs or uh, a lot of the songs, 50%, 60%, or you just kind of uh, collaborate ideas together? How does that work? 
Yeah, we collaborate together a lot, um, but recently he's been doing a lot more of the writing. We actually have a new EP coming out um, this Friday, and you know, as we're as we're recording this, and so um, he actually wrote that whole EP. So it kind of comes in seasons. You know, sometimes I write more, sometimes he writes more. So it just depends. But I like when he writes because I'm kind of harder on myself. So. <laughs> Okay, so obviously I am at home um, and I have had a really good day today. I had a call um, with um, some people just now. You guys saw that little those little clips that I included. Um, I actually, my manager set up a, um, I'm working with like a manager now if you didn't know that. And uh, he actually set up a phone call, uh, like a phone interview it was really super fun. They were just asking me about, you know, our song Breakthrough. Uh, that's kind of been a big topic because that's like our, you know, um, most recent that we've kind of been really promoting. And then we do have an EP coming out on Friday. And so I kind of plugged that just a, a little bit. I don't really even honestly know when they're releasing this episode. Um, yeah, they're called um, Corner Cafe and um, it was Rachel and Jamie that interviewed me. They were really nice, really uh, fun to talk to. And so I love interview type of stuff. I've, I've said that before in videos. I absolutely love talking. Clearly I do a lot of it here. Um, but I really like to talk, not obviously just about myself, but now we get to talk about the baby. And so that's always fun to bring up in interviews. And um, I just really like to share, you know, my heart about things and public speaking and that type of stuff has always been literally one of my favorite things like like writing sermons and doing interviews doing podcasts youtube all that stuff i literally love this kind of stuff i am always down like anybody asks me if like will you be on this yes i'm like i don't even give it a second thought i love to do stuff like that and um and i've been really given a lot of opportunities recently for that which is really great not just through my manager but um like this is the first one that was actually he set up usually it's been recently like people are just reaching out to me and um like i was on ucb the radio station in the uk that we absolutely love um and i was on there with chloe wilson she interviewed me and i recorded that too um but that was super fun and so they they reached out um chloe did actually after they had started playing uh our music she reached out so i've just had really cool opportunities recently and i'm i really enjoy it um but yeah, so anyway, that was a lot of fun, and I really appreciated them calling. It was actually pretty long. It was like 40-something minutes, so that was good. We had a lot of good, you know, I like when conversations are able to go a little bit deeper than just like the basic, and, and of course, everybody has a different time frame that they're able to, to do, but it was able to go a little deeper, so that was nice. Um, so yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on that, and definitely go check out their content because um, they really had great questions, but um so yeah today was a great day me and tristan had a lot of fun this vlog's been just like totally um you know a little bit random but i think it was super fun going and doing like botox and everything and the cow and the whole situation um also i wanted to say really quickly i told you guys i would update you about my glucose test i had my gestational diabetes test last week and they never called me so they said like We'll only call you if something's wrong, <laughs> which I was telling Tristan today. I don't know why doctors always do that. Like, why can't you just call me if nothing's wrong so I don't st sit here and stare at my phone for three days, you know, wondering. I wasn't that concerned. I honestly had a pretty good feeling that I was going to pass it. But with gestational diabetes, you, you literally don't know because um, it can't be fully prevented. Like, you can eat the best diet ever or whatever, and um, you cannot prevent. <laughs> if you're going to have it, basically, you're going to have it. Um, so I just didn't know, you know, it's kind of like, who knows? I just trusted that hopefully I would pass this one. Um, but anyway, my levels came back. I got to look at my lab today. I knew because they didn't call me that probably it was fine, but, um, my, my levels came back and it, if it was like 140 or up, I would have to re take another test. If it was above 190, apparently, I didn't know this part. <laughs> Probably a good thing I didn't know this. I'd been even more nervous. But if it was above 190, I would have just been diagnosed with gestational diabetes. They wouldn't have done another test. But if it's above 140, they just do a three hour test, which everybody dreads that one. Nobody wants it. Um, but it was 111, so I'm good. I passed the one hour. 
and I'm very thankful for that. I don't say that and like, again, you can't prevent that. So it's not like I did anything to pass the gestational <laughs> diabetes test. It just happened to me that I passed it. And maybe next time I won't, I'm not speaking that, but I know that happens to people and I know people personally that have gestational diabetes or that have in the past and I know it isn't fun. It takes a whole new level of like strength to totally readjust your diet during pregnancy. I know that's hard, but anyway, and then prick your finger and the whole deal. But thankfully, I'm not going to have to do that in this pregnancy. I uh, still feel really good. I have no swelling. I got my toenails done today. I did this white color and um, I was thinking about that as they were doing my, my toenails. I still don't have any swelling. Tristan was asking me about it. I'm really thankful for that, but obviously I know it's very normal, so I probably will eventually get it. I still don't have any swelling or anything. Still feel really good, so a little update there. Um, but anyway, I just want to thank you guys for watching today's vlog. Um, and make sure you subscribe. Make sure you come back. Remember, you are incredible. Jesus loves you. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.